Okay, today I'm going to read to you Coming On Home Soon. It is by Jacqueline Woodson. This is about a girl named Ada Ruth, and her mama goes back and forth to Chicago to work, and Ada Ruth is left behind with her grandmother. Um, it's a war time. This is during World, during World War II, and women had to fill men's jobs because men were busy fighting in the armies. They were flying planes and things like that, so the women really had to pitch in. Now, winter is coming, and Ada and her grandmother, they keep in a daily routine, but Ada misses her mama a lot. And this story is about how Ada and her grandmother find some strength in each other, and even a stray kitten keeps them company one day, okay? But it certainly doesn't fill the hole that her mama left. Every day they wait, watching for a letter from mama that she will be coming home soon. Okay? All right, coming on home soon. You'll enjoy this. Um, I read this one last year in my class, and they really enjoyed it. Okay. Mama's hands are warm and soft. When she put her Sunday dress into the satchel, I held my breath. Try hard not to cry. Ada Ruth, she said. They're hiring colored women in Chicago since all the men are off fighting in the war. Mama folded another dress and put it in the bag. I'm going to head on up there. Then she pulled me up close to her, pressed her face against mine. Make some money I can send on home to you. Outside, a pretty rain fell, making the brown fields shine. Ada Ruth, Mama said. Do you know how I love you more than anything in the world? Yes, ma'am, I whispered. More than rain, more than snow, Mama whispered back, the way we'd done a hundred times before, or maybe a hundred thousand. <laughs> Grandma holds me when I cry. Hush now, she says, it's going to be all right. Hush now, she says. Your mama's going to be coming on home soon. But mama's been gone a long time, with no letter or money from her coming. Keep writing to her, Grandma says. So I do. There was snow this morning, and a small black kitten scratching against our door. There is milk this morning, warm from the cow. Grandma says, you know we can't keep it. Then she pours milk into a saucer and sets it down on the floor. The war is going on. Some days, not much food to speak of. Cornbread and clabber milk for morning meal and supper. You know we can't keep it, Grandma says again. The kitten drinks up the milk, rubs against my leg like it wants some more. And Grandma says, don't go get attached now, Ada Ruth. It's a slip of a thing, but its softness is big and warm as ten quilts on my lap, warm as Mama's hands. I rub the kitten's back. More than snow, Mama said. I love you more than snow. I watch the snow come down fast, try hard to remember the way Mom smelled, like sugar some days, and some days like sun, some days like the live soap that turned her hands yellow but got the wash real clean. I blink hard, but the tears still try to come. Good thing it's too cold for fleas, Grandma says, coming in with more wood for the stove. Or else that thing would be full of them. She holds her head sideways, takes the kitten in. Can't get much uglier now, can it? Me and Mama give the kitten a mean look. Time passes.
postman goes on by without stopping, Grandma says, Hush now, don't start that crying. But her eyes are sad, like she's wanting to cry too. In Chicago, Mama said, I can wash the railroad cars. Just imagine, Ada Ruth, a colored woman working on the railroad. That night, me and Grandma listened to the radio, hear about the battles being fought and all the men who died. I listen with my eyes closed. Pray for all those men who won't be coming on home soon. Outside, the snow keeps falling. The war goes on and on. When Grandma turns the radio off, I rub my hand along the kitten's back and just think about the woman working on the trains. Just think, my mama right there beside them. Ice storm came last night, Grandma says, as she hunts possum and rabbit. If she catches one, there'll be some meat for a stew. A little bit of me hopes we find one. A little bit of me hopes we don't. <laughs> me and Grandma keep walking and the kitten behind us, shivering until Grandma stoops and lifts it into her coat. Don't you know about cold snap, she asks. How they come on fast and sometimes stay. The land goes on and on, flat sometimes, and then climbing up into a hill. Grandma says it all leads out to the big wide world. One day I'm going to set off to see it all. Maybe I'll go by railroad. When we get home, Grandma starts the wood stove going, our wet clothes steaming on top of it. Hot cocoa, too. And two biscuits from last night's supper. And the postman making his way up the road. Thank you, Lord, Grandma whispers, when he puts the letter with Mama's beautiful cursive in her hand money falling from it when Grandma steams it open. And the first line, tell Ada Ruth, I'll be coming on home soon, like a song you want to sing over and over. A small black kitten beside us as we read the letter again and again. I think she's taken a mind to stay say. Well, she needs to take a mind to go, Grandma says. But she puts a blanket down by the fire and whispers, quiet and halfway pretty when you look at her in just the right way. Inside it's warm and quiet, stew cooking on the stove. Outside snow falls and falls, and somewhere there's my mama loving me more than rain, loving me more than snow, cleaning trains, and coming on home soon.